not. It doesn't matter if you're doing um, HUDs or REOs or real estate or, or I coach a guy who's a doctor. I mean, he doesn't even do real estate. And so I don't think it has anything to do with that. But I think it's these three things. You have to have these three things. If you look at any successful person that you know in your life or any successful person out in the world, they've mastered these three things and they don't really need anything else. It's these two things. Number one is a recipe or blueprint. Can anybody tell me what I mean by blueprint? Don't be shy. Business program. A plan, a system, right. And it's not just, uh, I want to make a million bucks flipping houses. Okay, that's a statement. That's not a blueprint. A blueprint is, I want to make a million bucks flipping houses. That, that might be the first line. And then it's, and I'm going to do it like this. I'm going to do some, I'm going to do short sales. I'm going to send out 100 marketing pieces a day. I'm going to follow. I mean, you have to have a, like an assembly line, like a blueprint, like a McDonald's. You know, I mean, they have every single part of that business broken down to where you can pick up a manual and follow it. Does that make sense? That's what a blueprint is. You have to have a blueprint or a recipe. The second thing is you have to have the ability to take massive action. Since I became part of Life in Air, Sean always gets ahead and invites me to be on some of these calls with there's several hundred investors across the country. And one of the biggest things I see between the ones who make real money investing in real estate and the ones who've been on the calls for three years and still haven't done a deal, it's this. It's massive action. Okay? They've got a, a library at home full of recipes. You guys know what I'm talking about? How many of you have bought a, how many of you have bought a course, put it on your shelf, and never did anything with it? Yeah, half this room, okay? I've been one of those guys too, so I get it. Um, your problem may not be the recipe or the blueprint. Your problem might be the massive action, right? Um, that's the main thing that I see. When I bought Sean's course, I didn't know anything about real estate investing. I had never flipped a house. I had never done anything. And so I think sometimes that's the best place to be because I didn't know any better. I just took the course. I opened up the page one that said, do this, so I just did it. Sean had me on a call and said, Jason, why have you had so, so much success when some of my other students have? And this was probably three or four months after I started investing. And I said, because I just did what you told me to do. Okay? You guys want to do what I told you to do? If you believe me? Yeah? yeah. All right, cool. Um, I want to talk about this because I think this has to do with massive action. Who can tell me the difference between cognitive understanding and unconscious competence? Anybody? Go on once. What's that? One's applied, yeah. All right. One's pure luck, kind of. I'll tell you what the difference is. Cognitive understanding is understanding something inside and out, how it works, okay? So if I say, go flip on that light switch or go turn that light switch off, cognitive understanding means you wouldn't go flip that light switch off until you understood how the electric wire went into the switch. It runs up through the wall, comes down, it goes to a generator somewhere, and then that generator goes to a power plant. That's cognitive understanding, understanding how all that works. Get that? Everybody understand that? Unconscious competence is just walking over and flipping the switch. I don't care about how it works, right? Okay? That's the difference. And one of the things that I see with people in real estate investing in particular is they feel like they have to understand everything about what they're going to invest in before they can do it. Does that make does that sound true with anybody? I see a lot of people shaking their heads. Okay? Um, they feel like they have to have all their ducks. I have to have business cards printed up. I have to have a website. I have to get this. I have to get on. You guys are laughing and nodding your heads because you know I'm right, right? I mean, if you feel like you have to do all those things. Guess what? I don't have a website. I don't have a business card. Somebody asked me for a business card earlier. I don't have a business card. I don't have a website. I don't have any of that jazz, okay? I just do what the book said to do, and it works. Make sense? So I know you feel the, the desire to, to know everything inside and out before you do it because you're like, what if the homeowner asks me a question that I don't know the answer to? Well, then do what I did. Say, I don't know, Mr. Homeowner, but I'll find out and I'll call you back, right? Fair enough. Then I can go look it up in the manual. Until then, I don't really need to know what it says, right? What it means. Cool? All right. Number three is a mentor or coach. I'm not here to sell you mentoring or coaching, so don't worry about that. I say that because that was my recipe. In the mortgage days, I hired one of the best originators in the country to kind of coach me. I always kind of felt that... Uh, there was a guy at the front of the room that I really believed in that really does what I want to learn how to do. And he's already made all the mistakes and he's done hundreds of deals and I've done zero. He can probably get me to the finish line a little faster than I can on my own. You guys agree with that? Yeah. Sure, it's going to cost me a little bit of money, but my money's worth, my time is worth money. Okay?